I'm not gonna lie, hearing this news really just makes me just, oh, because we already have the big news that Dragon Ball Super is indeed ending, you know, it's confirmed, Dragon Ball Super is, is, is gonna end for the time being, of course, you know, what happens in the future, whatever happens, happens, you know what I'm saying, but as of right now, we know that that's coming to a close, and we've had so many series come to a close as of recent in the past few years, and uh, now another one, a long time one, maybe not the most popular in the West, but definitely popular in all of our hearts, and that is Gein Tama. Gein Tama is coming to an end, the manga is coming to an end in two weeks. Wow, 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 honestly, this is crazy, like, I, I mean, okay, I will say that it has went on way longer than I expected because it was announced that it was going to be entering its final arc and its climax was nearing a long time ago and it kept going kind of like the Naruto Ninja War and the Bleach last arc and shit like that. Gintama did the same thing, but it's finally here. The the ending in two weeks, I'm kind of curious if he's going to be able to wrap everything up very nicely. I mean, Gintama, for what it's worth, like, it gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you some really off-the-walls comedy, but it gives you some tragic and sad shit and what Gintoki he's been dealing with this entire arc from what it stems from the entirety of the series essentially and who he is as a character today because of events because of this person that he's fighting is blowing my mind right now like this is crazy it's a wrap kind of curious long time Gintama fans how do you feel like Gintama is one of those series that you gotta respect it even if you don't read it you don't check it out from what you hear of it, it's one of those series like okay it's an OG it's like Fist of the North Star you know what I'm saying you respect it and Gintama Shonen Jump is going to be missing a huge gaping hole in it it's gonna have a huge hole in it because um Gintama is one of the last few legends in there. Who's left now? Like, One Piece is the last man standing at this point of all the big time runners, aside from Tagashi with his back pains, but it's only gonna go so far with that, so it's crazy. Gintama ending in two weeks, probably even less than that as of the recording of this video. Probably maybe two chapters or one chapter at this point, whatever, but it, it's almost over, and <sighs> Gintama, amazing series, legendary series. Got so many animes and very critically acclaimed. A troll and a half a masterpiece and yeah um expect a big video more than likely with one of my longtime friends i will be trying to hook that up to give one big game tama video to talk about everything the final fights all of it takasugi everything i want to talk about it all leading up to this because that especially in anime was absolutely amazing the takasugi fight like Oh, yeah, it's my heart. I ain't gonna lie. This is crazy. This, yeah, being, being a fan of Shonen Jump, you gotta know you can't really get that attached to these series because when I initially started with the Naruto's and the One Pieces and the Bleaches, you know, you get really emotionally attached and you feel like these series are gonna last forever. It's like, what? Bleach is already 400 chapters in, 500 chapters in, Naruto's 400, 500, all of these series, you, you feel that way, and you're like, ah, it's never gonna end, and then when the sad reality comes that eventually they're all going to end, it really sucks, it's like, in a way, a smaller... A representation of death you know what I'm saying everything comes to an end eventually and especially with series is like those are from a generation that lasted longer than usual you know what I'm saying that was a generation where you could last three four five hundred chapters there's not that many series that are lasting that long anymore we might have seen the death of a dynasty and Gintama is the, the guy playing the violin at the funeral at this point because it's really all coming to a close one piece is the last long runner even Dragon Ball Super we thought Daddy came home to rescue the anime industry, and Daddy's going back out to go cheat with that big titty bitch down the block. He said he might come back, he might not, he don't know, the kids are all confused. You got some of the kids is like, nah, Daddy's just on hiatus, Daddy's gonna come back. A lot of the kids is like, Daddy, you know, may he, he might come back, but it's not a confirmed hiatus. It is just madness out here in the anime manga community. Okay, that was very, very terrible, but point being is like, don't, don't get really that attached to these series because they come and go and especially with the newer generation if those series were uh, a kind of a fluke you know what I'm saying that lasting that long reborns you know and, and it was a time when that could happen One Piece again now One Piece is the exception because it's just outlasted everything and it's exploded but imagine the newer series like I'm wondering will My Hero Academia really reach that five and six hundred seven hundred chapter landmark likewise with Black Clover The Promised Neverland Promised Neverland I see it peaking 
cranking out at three at most 300 chapters max for the promised neverland and that's me probably pushing it because i've already seen that the creator hasn't had necessarily problems creating things but definitely lacks a bit of longer term direction for a lot of big aspects of the story leading into whatever they planned because i think it's actually two creators and artists and a story writer you can't get attached because it's getting even worse you'll probably even feel more hurt when you read 100 or 200 chapters of my hero academia and then you never know it could be a year from now he decides to wrap things up there's already been little whispers here and there that he's slowly reaching the climax we might not have a long runner like naruto anymore even with my hero as popular as it's become it doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily last as long as those old series did because it was also a different time period and i know i'm kind of straying away from the fact of what happened at gintama's ending but you just got to look at it in perspective of it's not only with the manga it's with the anime too with the anime you know what i'm saying there's not that many long runners out there anymore you know what i'm saying we mainly have a lot of short series that are just 12 24 you know you get the occasional 50s but that's about it the 500 episode the 400 episode all of that shit is coming to a close with the newer series that are coming out in this next generation everything is about a fast boom and it's looking like that's the case with manga as well i mean toriko there was yeah a little bit of a different circumstance with that and it uh, basically got axed in the end similar to like bleach but look at toriko it was still one of the next generations and bam it ended pretty pretty early likewise with assassination classroom although to be fair again that's a different circumstance he ended it on his own terms but nevertheless it's like things aren't going to last as long as they did before do not get attached to these series because gintama ending right now and that's that i know for a fact as much as i really love gintama i'm not the biggest biggest gintama fan i know plenty of gintama fans that are 10 billion times more hardcore than me and every which way with the series because it's so meaningful and impactful and just such an amazing series and story with at the same time an, a, an incredible blend of comedy that you know there, there's fans all across the board and shit like that so you know the deep hardcore fans they must be absolutely devastated by this because it's really done no more last gags you know what i'm saying sarachi's gonna probably either put down the pen move on to something else you know it's gonna be over for this and it's like holy shit man <laughs> makes me really feel old looking at everything that i've been through in the past what eight years now that i've been on youtube i've seen generations come and go i've seen the madaka box beelzebub era i've seen all of these eras continuously come and go and it's like holy shit they're really moving fast the, the, the times are changing the long lasting shit is done really for the most part the long lasting series that are of today right now are really just the shit that has been around for a long time already aside from that a lot of the newer stuff is not lasting that long we're not getting series that are already you know 156 episodes deep there's a rarity of that ever happening and if it is it's usually when you add up all the seasons because it's released seasonally maybe something like major i think it had like a 50 episode thing and 50 here or something so maybe you could argue something like major but you ain't having that many big series and again gintama was another one that was a long runner that after that who knows if we'll ever see another series like gintama in this next generation where you gotta be fast you gotta be doing better than everything anybody's ever done before when gintama came in and kind of wanted to just break the rules a little bit and kind of fuck with the system and say what it wanted to say and yeah there's gonna be repercussions but it's gintama fuck you know what I mean? We ain't gonna really have a series that can take that place. Sket Dance tried, but Sket Dance ended before Gintama even ended, and Gintama started way before it, so this is the end of a legacy. <sighs> Once One Piece ends, it's really all over. Once One Piece ends, even if Hunter x Hunter hasn't ended by then, it's really all over, because One Piece is the last one that's really just been standing the test of time and just absolutely explosively popular. It's crazy. Again, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, do you not care, do you love it, and you're just so sad? It'll always be in our hearts, and there's always so much content to rewatch and read, and the movies, bro, like, oh my god, especially Forever Yorozuya, oh, I love that movie, oh my god, don't even get me started, anyway, I don't want to sit here fanboying all night, but that's all I have for this one, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you liked anything I had to say, or enjoyed the video, drop me a like, I'd greatly appreciate it, and if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends, um, for never world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy bow have an awesome day